As Grounded has evolved during early axe tests, there has been a shift from a fairly casual survival experience to a more traditional survival experience. This is most evident in the changes to combat, including both weapon and armor upgrades. These changes have either intentionally or unintentionally put an emphasis on one skill the game doesn't really teach you, perfect blocking. In this video, I'll be discussing why perfect blocking is the most important skill in Grounded and how you can improve your ability to perfect block. Before we begin, I want to thank King Bling Blah Gaming, Matthew Campbell, Steven Van, and all my other channel members for helping make videos like this possible. If you would like to support the channel directly, click the join button below or the link in the description and become a channel member today. Thanks again to all my channel members, let's get started. Let's start off by talking about what the difference is between blocking and perfect blocking. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate this on a lawn light. So here's a little lawn light over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to aggro this guy so he comes after us. He should come after us now. So now we've got a couple of them. Let's just show you what a block looks like. So this is a block. You're holding up your weapon or your armor or excuse me, your weapon or your shield, and you're gonna notice that I am taking damage over time. So I, it's not preventing me from taking damage. Let me kill this first guy real quick. And watch this, here's a perfect block. So the perfect block you're gonna notice is going to take no damage. So let me heal all the way up just so we can demonstrate it one more time before this other guy gets over here because he will probably come towards us. Yes, he is. I would like, I wanna get my health all the way back up just so you can see. Essentially why you wanna do perfect blocking is because perfect blocking will prevent you from taking any damage. So let's just kite this guy over here. Actually, we'll just do it right now. We should see my arm. It's not going to go down. So there you see my health is not going down. It's still regenerating. Just perfect blocking it over and over again. And we're not taking any damage. Whereas just blocking with a shield or just your weapon, you're going to take damage. Now, of course, using a shield is going to prevent you from taking more damage. You're going to take less damage if you have a shield up versus just having the a weapon up. So why do you want to do this? Well, the reason you want to do this is because over the last, I don't know, six to nine months, there's been lots of changes to Grounded while it's going through its early access development. And those changes have have turned, have basically changed combat from being what I would call casual or very simple, where basically you could just run up to most enemies. And as long as you had on decent armor and had decent weapon, you could just swing away and not really have to worry about blocking. For the first probably six or so months I played this game, uh, after when I started playing it again, which was about, I think about a year ago from as I'm recording this. So the first like three to six months, I really didn't worry about perfect blocking because I was mainly playing on mono medium. And to be completely honest, the damage I was taking just didn't really make a difference. I would just swing away and combat was fairly simple. It was basically hack and slash combat. Now, since then, there's been multiple updates where things have changed. Specifically, the game now has armor upgrades, weapon upgrades, and a new combo system for when you're attacking. So let's talk about armor upgrades first. So this was added in the most recent update in the bug strike back update. So now what you're going to see is rather than armor having a default defense, which was as an example, I believe the grub armor was probably like two or something like that for each of the pieces. You're going to notice the chest piece has more defense than the goggle, than the head piece and the leg piece for all the sets and that they can be upgraded. So this bar is going to go up a little bit which means you're gonna have more defense and more durability on your armors. Now, the reason this is significant was before this update, when you had the armor on, you were basically getting the armor at max level. Now you have to upgrade your armor to, from my testing, approximately bulky level nine, which is the max level you can go. There's two routes, bulky and sleek. If you go the bulky route to level nine, you're gonna have armor that is comparable to what it was before this update, meaning you're gonna to have to max out the armor going the bulky route to end up reducing the amount of damage incoming on average right so they have changed the amount of damage some of the bugs do it's not 100 percent across the board the same but in general you basically have to if you have level zero armor if you craft armor today you're gonna have level zero armor as you can see here from this this is gonna have no there's no levels on here it can go up to level nine level zero armor is going to provide you far less damage resistance or the amount of damage you're going to be taking defense than armor did before this update that means that no longer can you just stand there and tank hits because you're going to take tons of damage. Even if you upgrade your armor, you're going to have to upgrade it all the way up to the max to be able to tank hits, which is still not recommended because you're going to lose durability and stuff like that. In addition to that, in a previous update, they added, I believe it was, I believe it was hot and hazy. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. It was either hot and hazy or into the woods. I believe it was hot and hazy. They added weapon upgrades and weapon upgrades function the same way. Your weapons, as you can see here, this is a brand, like a, basically a brand new character that I created or brand new world. I have level zero everything, so none of my gear has any levels. You can level up your weapons up to level nine, and they will do more damage. So essentially what's happened is armor and weapons now by default are going to deal less damage and prevent you from taking 
they're going to basically going to take more damage if you don't upgrade them. So those are two systems that have been added where basically you have like it's just going to enforce perfect blocking. And in addition to that, they also worked in and I believe I, mean, I can't remember if this was either in the hot and hazy or the end of the wood update. It might have been the end of the wood update where there's a three hit combo system. So when you swing a weapon, you can do one, two, three hits. Now, before the combat system was changed, all three of those hits dealt the exact same amount of damage, which was 100 percent. So as an example here, this Peblet Axe would deal 1.5 damage per swing. So one, two, three, it would deal 1.5, 1.1, 5, 1.5, 1.5. After the combo change, it now deals 50% for the first hit, 100% for the second hit, and 150% for the third hit. So as this example, it would deal 0.75 for the first hit, then 1.5, then 2.25. So on average, if you hit all three of them, you're gonna get the same 1.5. The issue with that is that you very rarely, especially against fast attacking enemies, can you get in a three hit combo. So it means battle combat's going to take longer and it's going to put just put more of an emphasis on blocking because you're going to end up combat's just going to take longer. Right. So the reason you want to get perfect blocking down is because overall you're just it's going to prevent you from dying. It's going to prevent you from having to repair your armor and weapons because your fights are going to last long. They should be shorter, shorter fights if you're perfect blocking and you're going to take far less dam dur durability damage. You're going to have far less deaths and stuff like that. So as you can see, what I just demonstrated was on a lawn might. And I would recommend if you've never done perfect blocking to start by doing it on lawn mites. Lawn mites are the least dangerous, aggressive enemies in the game, meaning that they will attack you on sight. So, like, if you walk up to an aphid, the aphid's just going to run away. If you walk up to a red work grant, the red work grant's not going to attack you. However, a... Well, that guy's jumping all over the place. Let's see how we fare against this larva. With no armor on. Got our perfect block in. So, as you can see, I missed the attack because this guy's pretty quick. Got our perfect block in. And we're stunning him. I was level... You can see how long this is taking with my level zero weapons and armor here and i am i'm gonna be honest me getting this many perfect blocks in a row is not not common but anyway so you can see the attack pattern there each enemy has a different attack attack pattern but the law mites are the easiest so you can just sit here and perfect block just find one law might isolate them and just sit there and practice perfect blocking i'd recommend doing this for a couple reasons one you'll be able to unlock parry master which is a mutation after you do 20 perfect blocks you get parry master this is doing nothing to our durability it's doing nothing to our health as long as we perfect block i would recommend starting with lawn mites working your way up through the more dangerous enemies and just learning all the attack patterns because you're really going to need it there's one other change that was added as well which was mithridatism no longer prevents you from taking poison damage and now has three phases so phase one is 25 percent phase two is 50 and phase three is 75 percent so whereas before once you unlock mithridatism you didn't have to worry about the poison attacks from spiders from wolf spiders specifically and also the broodmother now if you don't perfect block and you even if you have mithridatism at the highest level you are going to at level three you're still going to take poison damage it's not going to be as severe but you're still going to take poison damage this is really really dangerous early game because with low with the low tier armor with armor being less having less defense by default and with it taking more time to upgrade it to basically getting back to where we were before perfect blocking is just going to become something you just really need to learn how to do and hopefully they will do something between now and 1.0 where they put in some type of quest that just basically says like my recommendation would be like just go perfect block a lawn might 10 times in a row or something like that or, or get there is an achievement for perfect blocking 10 in a row there's also parry master but the game doesn't just tell you to go do those things so hopefully they put a tutorial quest in where it basically says Go perfect block a lawn mite three times or something like that. And it explains to you how to perfect block by just timing it. And once you get it down, it's not that bad. It will take a couple of tries. You'll probably end up having issues. I would recommend probably using a shield if possible. So if you miss the perfect block, at least you do block the attacks. But overall, learning perfect blocking is just going to keep you alive longer. And it's just going it, to overall, it's going to make your experience better. And one other thing before we end, I want to show you the status effects is going to be I actually don't even have it unlocked. So Parry Master, you unlock after 20 perfect blocks. Like I said, this is a brand new character. So you can get that pretty easily from Lawn Might. You can get to level three in just a couple of minutes by just sitting there isolating one Lawn Might and doing the perfect blocks. And then in addition to that, what Parry, well, what Parry Master does basically is it regenerate. It gives you stamina back when you do, uh, perform a perfect block, which means that in combat, you'll have more stamina for doing combo attacks and stuff like that. Now, the other thing you could do if you're having trouble perfect blocking is to get yourself a set of Koi Scale Armor. The Koi Scale Armor you're going to see here has as a piece bonus. So each piece will give you a perfect plus perfect block. Let's just equip that real quick and show you what it does. The plus perfect block here is extends the perfect block timing window. What that means is you will have, there's more forgiveness in perfect blocking. That means you don't have to be absolutely fr frame perfect 
although it's not that it's not that perfect like you, you there is a little bit of a window you can tie, do it but with this it'll give you even a bigger window and with each piece it'll extend the window even more it'll make perfect blocking even easier and then the koi scale actually the koi scale if you're actually become really good at perfect blocking and can do it consistently this can be become one of the better armors because you're going to notice here that the overall effect from it if you have all three pieces on for the gear set enemies you perfect block or fill with self-doubt this means they're going to actually take more damage on subsequent attacks after perfect block so overall the koi scale armor is going to be very useful for fighting for if you're good at perfect blocking and here comes a wolf spider which we're not going to mess with because he will surely kill us in our small armor but basically that's the gist of perfect blocking hopefully they like i said they enforce they basically encourage people to learn this skill because right now the game does not do it and honestly just sitting there and blocking or tanking it you're just going to die more often than you did in the past before these updates were made so anyway if you found this video helpful make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this if you want to support the channel directly click the join card on the screen thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video